Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a huge ass Trader Joe's haul. I have four huge bags and then, oh my goodness, I have, oh my God, that bag. This is also going to be a taste test for some of their items. I'm Canadian, we went across the border to go pick up these groceries because our prices here are insane. And even with the exchange rate and the gas that you have to pay to go to Vermont, which is where we go, it's still cheaper to go there for groceries. Do what you will with that information, but let's jump into things. I picked up two different types of cheese. I've heard great things about this. I asked over on Instagram for recommendations and people gave me so many, so I was so excited. I was just adding literally everything to my cart. But this is the unexpected cheddar cheese, which I've heard phenomenal things about. I just honestly got this to snack with some like crackers, veg, and hummus. I think that's just like an iconic kind of snack plate. And then I also got this Ivy's Reserve Somerset Red Cheese. That was a mouthful for me, but I do think that this is a new cheese that Trader Joe's has. I picked up a lot of like their seasonal items as well. I've only been one other time and that was three months ago. So I figured out some of the things that I like and some of the things that I do not like that much and restocked some of my favorites. First taste test that we're gonna have is these dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt. I love honeycomb, so I think I'm gonna love these. So let's see. These smell so good. This is what it looks like. It is a nice chunky square. Mmm. Mmm. I thought that it was dark chocolate covered honeycomb, but it's not. But it's like a honey graham cracker covered in chocolate, which is really good. I would rate these like a 7 on 10. Mmm. I get my produce from the farmer's market over here, but I did pick up a couple of things while I was there because it looks so good. First up, this huge thing of strawberries. Oh, berries. And and berries. Berries and what else? They smell so sweet, so delicious, and I have some whipping cream in my fridge. In cream? And I think this would make like the perfect dessert. Berries and cream. Oh, hurrah. These breadsticks. I'm deep, deep in Trader Joe's TikTok right now. And I've seen these garlic and cheese breadsticks everywhere. I'm gonna stick mine in the freezer because I don't anticipate myself needing them anytime soon. The recipes that I have planned for the week, but these are so easy to like take out, put in your air fryer, perfect. Great dish to have with pasta, with salads. I'm excited. I love bread. I love bread. Bread. Got two different soups. Andrew loves clam chowder, and apparently this is really, really good. So I picked this up for him, and this is a creamy chowder made with hand-shucked Atlantic surf clams, potatoes, and sautéed onions. Sounds really good. I'm not the biggest clam chowder person because I find it too creamy for my stomach personally, but everyone's different. Speaking of cream, I also did get this soup for me myself. It's past 8 p.m. and I'm just so tired. <laughs> I did get it for myself, and this is the lobster bisque, which I'm really excited to have this with like a grilled cheese. That sounds real good. I have a bunch of pizza dough in my freezer right now, so I picked up some of the Trader Joe's pizza sauce. I'm very particular about the types of yogurt that I like, but these were screaming my name. Screaming, Kaylin, Kaylin, come get me. These banana cream and strawberry cream yogurts sound fantastic. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. The thing about yogurt is I don't like yogurt that has chunks. I hate chunky yogurt. No, no, not for me, okay? I'm not gonna yuck your yum. I'm so glad that it's out there for people who love it. I'm so glad that this exists, I think. I actually don't know if these have chunks. I doubt the banana one is chunky, but I'll let you know. If you do subscribe, you will see some what I eat in a week videos as well as what I eat in a day videos featuring these items in the upcoming month or so. So stay tuned. Okay, I might have gotten this for the packaging, but these overnight oats looked really good and I got it in the strawberry flavor. I only picked up one because I wanna know if I like it or not. But I also did pick up this Greek yogurt in the guava passion fruit flavor. They had a lot of like 0% yogurts and I just don't think that those taste very good. So I was looking for all of them that had like whole milk and things that I really love. And this was one of them. So I will let you know how this tastes and what I think of it. And then the last yogurt that I got is this vanilla bean yogurt. And I think it's going to be really, really good with a chocolate granola that I have in my pantry already and some cut up strawberries. That sounds so good. I am so excited to try these. These snack clusters have chips, mini pretzel nuggets and corn chip dippers. And then it's dipped in chocolate. Sweet and salty, I love. So let's see what we think of these. It is the cutest little cluster. I'm hoping that these are really, really crunchy. 
Mm, I really like that. I'm gonna give these a 9 on 10. I love milk chocolate. It's probably my favorite, but I think something like this would be even better with dark chocolate. Just saying, but really love. I also picked up these everything but the bagel seasoned bite-sized crackers. These have garlic, onion, sesame seeds, sesame seeds. I got sesame seeds, lots of yummy stuff. And I think that these would be really good with cream cheese or again on that kind of snack plate that I was talking about. I tried one of these grapes in the store. Okay, maybe, maybe it's stealing, but I gotta try a grape before I purchase them, okay? Phenomenal, phenomenal. These are the honey pearl grapes. So sweet, so juicy. It kind of tasted a little bit like a pear to me almost because of how sweet it was, but really looking forward to having these this week. I picked up some butter because for this thing of butter, it was like $3 and some change when here it's almost 10 Canadian dollars for a pound of butter. So I could not resist and picked up some salted butter, which is usually what I use in everything, baking, cooking, salted butter. I love chickpeas and so I was really excited when I saw these Greek chickpeas and they are marinated with parsley, cumin, and I'm assuming some oils and some other spices. But this looked so good and I think throwing them onto a salad or like mushing them up with like a little bit of mayo or something like that and making a chickpea salad sandwich would be incredible. So got some of these. I have no cream cheese in the house right now and that is not okay for me. <laughs> I need cream cheese all the time at home. It is my favorite cheese. It goes with so many things. It's lovely. But I did pick up this onion and chive cream cheese to have on hand. I think I did get two of these, but this is a Barbell's kind of granola bar, protein bar, whatever. And this is in the salty peanut flavor. The last item from this bag were these Cinna Dragons. And I've seen a vlogger that I really, really like talk about these all the time. And so I love cinnamon. Like I love the candy hearts. I like cinnamon candy. I like cinnamon in general. I don't really like cinnamon in my drinks. Like a cinnamon coffee is not usually my, my go-to. Oh my God, I didn't even open them yet. I just ripped off that seal. The cinnamon smell that is walking off right now. Amazing. Let us try. It doesn't really look like a dragon to me, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Oh, okay. First things first, the texture, incredible. Will these get stuck all up in your teeth? Absolutely. They're so soft, so chewy, really delicious. Like, you know how some gummies, like you bite into them and it's like, like ripping off a piece of leather from a couch or something? These would never, 10 on 10. Next bag. I picked up some tomatoes. Again, I did not pick up much produce because I can get produce here for like relatively kind of the same price, but anything frozen or packaged is so much cheaper at Trader Joe's. And our frozen meals here, at least in Canada, I think that they're not, not up to par. But a lot of the things that I've had at Trader Joe's have been just delicious, so I love it, I love it. I didn't realize these were gluten-free, but either way, for my gluten-free friends, I picked up these original savory thin mini crackers, and I feel like I've had a variation of these in my lifetime like rice thins they're really really good and tasty but i got these to dip in some hummus some tzatziki whatever i'm feeling this was that second granola protein bar that i was talking about and this is in the flavor cookies and cream speaking of cookies and cream we've got these trader joe's cookies and cream pretzel slims and we are also going to try them now i'm hungry i'm gonna have some snacks they're just little pretzel thins they kind of smell a little bit like yogurt but Okay. I really like these. And they're not like too intensely cookies and cream, but like you get that flavor. I'm gonna give these an 8.5 on 10. Really, really good. I'm also gonna throw these in the freezer, but these are the Pain Ole chocolate chip French milk rolls. Quite a mouthful, but my friend that I went with loves these and she recommended them, so I tossed them into my cart. Last time I went to Trader Joe's, I really wanted to pick up this seasoning blend, which is their green goddess seasoning, but they did not have it in stock, but they do now. But I'm excited to try this on some chicken, throwing it on my salads. Spices are so versatile. Love it. Well, I don't know if I love it just yet, but I love the idea of it. I picked up this kale and broccoli slaw salad. And this comes with dried cherries, dried blueberries, slivered almonds, and a sweet and creamy dressing. I haven't had it just yet, but it kind of reminds me of the salad that they have at Costco that has that sweet poppy seed dressing. But instead of the cherries, it has cranberries and pumpkin seeds instead of almonds. So still excited to try this. The next thing that we are gonna try is another recommendation from my friend that I was with, and these are the Bamba Puffed Peanut and Corn Snacks. Sound delicious, sound wonderful, and they're dipped in dark chocolate. 
sounds great and I love that it has a resealable bag because I am somebody who like likes to try a lot of different things or have multiple things opened at once and I hate when things get stale I mean don't we all let's see it honestly looks like a little mini eclair that's so cute hmm these ones are like so so for me they're good don't get me wrong but I think the other ones that I've tried or other kind of snacks that I've tried are better. I'm gonna give these a six on 10, but they're still good. They're not bad, okay? I love having an afternoon tea and like some biscuits with tea. It's just so fun, okay? I love it. I'm like a sixth British. Make tea and coffee? Babe, tea and coffee is everything. It is? It means a lot to people. It does? Yeah, it's, it's like a hearty gesture. Can I make you a tea? It's like saying, can I give you a grand? Okay. My British gene coming in, my, my tea and biscuits. But I did pick these up. These look so good. These are butter waffle cookies. Grab some of these with an English breakfast tea. Smack my ass and call me Sally. So good. I've seen these all over TikTok and I'm really excited to try them. These are the hold the cone tips, which is basically a waffle cone just with like the chocolate at the bottom. And I feel like you can have these in so many ways, like on their own as a little dessert. You can crush some of these like on top of some vanilla ice cream or something like that to add just a little crunchy topping. Yummy. Another salad mix. And this is the avocado ranch salad kit. And this has green cabbage, lettuce, carrots, red cabbage, kale, green onions, corn chips, cheddar cheese, and an avocado wrench. wrench. You guys help me. My brain is scrambled inside of this brain avocado ranch dressing yum i love plantain whether it's fried whether it is baked whether it is in chip form it is so good and so when i saw these chocolate covered plantain chips you were coming home with me i i needed them it was not a want it was a need but let us try this just looks like it has the perfect amount of chocolate delicious super thin and crispy again on the sweet and salty kind of mix here Mm, nine on 10, so good. Also, I know when I do these like rating videos where I like I rate items, people are always like, isn't it like 10 out of 10 instead of 10 on 10? A lot of people, at least in Quebec, say 10 on 10. I think it's a conversion from French, but that is why. My friend Melissa recommended these milk chocolate pretzels. So, you know, I added them to my cart. Honestly, chocolate covered pretzels amazing they're one of the best snacks i don't like pretzels on their own but dipped in like hummus or when they're dipped in like nutella peanut butter chocolate covered so good on their own i find that they just taste like salty cardboard but speaking of pretzels though i did pick up this spring jingle jingle J -j spring spring jangle sprinkle jingle sprinkle jingle sprinkle sprinkle jangle there we go and this has a bunch of different stuff in it it has candy coated micro pretzels butter toffee peanuts spring colored sprinkles broken pieces of dark chocolate jojo bark milk chocolate peanut butter cups dark chocolate peanut butter cups and spring candy gems all in one all in one i love that these looked to die for they are brookie caramel candy clusters which a brookie is just like a brownie and a cookie together but these also have caramel which sounds fantastic love that for me I have heard so many people talk about this and it is the eggplant with tomatoes and onions, but the can is super cute. Listen, I'm a sucker for packaging and I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried the Chomps beef sticks, but I love a good beef stick. So I picked up two. Good to just keep in the pantry for quick snacks. Some pasta. I love the shape. I feel like it's gonna hold sauces really, really well. These look delicious. These are the way more chocolate chip cookies. And I guess that just means that they have like lots of chocolate chips in them, but let's find out. Let's try one. These smell like little cafeteria cookies or like Chips Ahoy cookies. Love that. I hope they're a little bit crunchy, but let's see. Hmm. I have another delicious cookie to have with my tea. So good. This is an easy 10 on 10. Tasty. If you're craving a chocolate chip cookie, it gets the job done. Second bag, we're done. We are going to move on to my most intimidating bag, which is the Santa Claus bag because it just keeps staring at me and I need us to do that right now, okay? Sit back, relax. Growing up, there was a bakery in my neighborhood that made the most delicious cinnamon twist pastry. It's really hard to describe because it was like a thick pastry, but it was soft. It was like filled with cinnamon. And on the top, it had like this hard granulated sugar. It was kind of like a cinnamon babka, but like in a circle. And Trader Joe's got this in. It is a seasonal item, I believe. 
and this is the cinnamon twist danish that has cinnamon and custard style filling i'm interested to see what the custard kind of means for that but i'm going to probably cut this up and freeze it so that it lasts because we're just two people and we cannot get through <laughs> everything that i'm going to be showing you today so a lot of it's going to go in the freezer and i love that because if you're freezing it when it's fresh when it comes out it's still going to be fresh it's going to be so good but with those i also picked up some muffins and these are the cinnamon coffee cake muffins Ooh, they smell so good they smell so we're moving into a lot of frozen stuff now. I make the best spinach and artichoke dip, okay? I do, but I did see somebody stuffing chicken breasts with like the Trader Joe's spinach and artichoke dip. And so I wanted to try that, so I picked it up. And apparently as far as like a frozen dip goes, it's really, really good. So we got that. Frozen beef patties. I love a beef patty, especially if it is spicy. And y'all know I'm not very good with spice but a spicy beef patty just hits so good, so different. So I got some of these. This was another recommendation from my friend. She said that this was her favorite pasta that Trader Joe's has, and this is the linguine with pesto and tomatoes, but it looks pretty damn good. And I like to doctor up all of these frozen meals with my own addition. So for this, I'd probably add spinach and some more Parmesan cheese or something like that. Still on the pasta train, I did get some gnocchi a la Sorrentia, which is basically with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Two things that I love, but I did pick up a bag of that. Some frozen chicken cutlets or tenderloin breasts, as they say over here on the package. I love things like this that you can throw in the air fryer. During the week, I'm so busy and I'm in so many meetings that I need things that are really, really quick, which is why I love things from Trader Joe's. And I get really sick of like meal prepping food. Like I just don't like that. I need to eat something different every single day. Excited because I love chicken. Chicken with honey, best combination ever. I think that these will be great when we host friends and things like that. So I did pick up two boxes of these mac and cheese bites because I've also heard again, amazing things. I got some cheese flavored corn snacks. They basically just look like Cheetos, but I, I love a good Cheeto, so I got these. My friend Alexis recommended their jasmine rice, so I picked some of this up. Gorgonzola gnocchi. Have I had gorgonzola? I don't think so, but it looked amazing. I repurchased this because I really liked it, but again, you kind of have to doctor it up a little bit. These risottos are really, really great for a quick weeknight side. And so when I made this last time, I added a little bit more Parmesan, some black pepper, and I also threw in some frozen peas, which made it really, really nice, especially for the springtime. Love it. And then I also got these Korean style beef short ribs. Sound amazing. If you're looking for quick and easy, like throw together meals, Trader Joe's is the place. I picked up two different types of pizza and the first pizza that I picked up is this spicy meat pizza that has smoked sausage, meatballs, grilled red bell peppers. And apparently it's a little bit sweet because of the bell peppers, but a little bit spicy because of the sausage and chili. Excited to try this for one night when neither of us feel like cooking. I picked up some beef bulgogi. I think that's how you pronounce it to make some tacos this week. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try these right now. I already know that I'm gonna love them because I love like corn chip dippers. Any kind of corn chip is amazing. So these are their organic elote corn chip dippers with Mexican style street corn flavored seasoning. Boom. And to go with that, more corn. For me, I really like corn. My friend Erin recommended this corn and chili tomato list salsa. So I'm gonna try both of them because I haven't had either of them, but got it. That smells fantastic. So. Got our little corn on there. Cheers. Wow. Mmm, cold. This combination is fire. So good. The corn salsa is like a little bit sweet, but it's quite spicy, at least for me, for my palate at the same time. This combination is like an 11, an 11 on 10. Really, really, really good. This would be also really good on shrimp tacos. Mmm. I've been making a lot of iced coffees in the morning. And so this is the oat creamer in the brown sugar flavor. Can't go wrong with a little bit of brown sugar creamer. So I'm excited. I'll probably try this tomorrow in my what I eat in a day video, which I will take you along for. I got some vegetable bird's nests, which is basically just like tempered vegetables that sit in these little nests. And it comes with a soy dipping sauce on the side, I believe, as well. But the vegetables in here are onions, carrot, kale, and they are julienne. So, sounds up my alley. I hate stale bread, so I always put my bread in the freezer. And I did pick up these mini baguettes. This is what they look like for size, I believe. 
and they're just mini french baguettes that i'm sure i can toss in the air fryer and it would crisp up really nicely but still be soft in the middle amazing i picked up some waffle fries which are my favorite and then i also picked up a vegetable grain blend i'm thinking of having this on the side with again like that chicken that i was talking about that's gonna be stuffed with that artichoke dip but this is just some barley and some other vegetables but this looks really tasty Apparently the gluten-free waffles at Trader Joe's are impeccable, but I could not grab my hands on them But I still wanted some waffles of some kind and so I did pick up these Belgian waffles Which I think will make a lovely breakfast a little dessert with those strawberries and cream I love sandwich cookies the Ritz cheese cracker like sandwich cookies are my favorite They are so good, but I did see that they had everything but the bagel sandwich crackers with a cream cheese filling Am I skeptical? Yeah, a little bit, but am I interested? Absolutely. So bag. Oh my God, I'm getting the garlic, the onion as I sniff these bad boys in. I will say I'm biased towards the Ritz cracker and I think that it's a little bit better, but these are really good, especially if you like onion and garlic. I think that you would really like these. I'm gonna give these a 7.5 on 10. Amazing. I picked up a couple of juices and the first one that I got is this 100% tangerine juice I think that this is gonna be so good on its own or in smoothies and then I also got the power of C vitamin C juice Which is a blend of orange pineapple mango and lemon sounds lovely. I love a good juice I'm a drink girly. I'm just blocking out the information. That's really not helpful um, but I got these carne asada tacos or burritos I should say for Andrew to try. I don't think I've ever actually had carne asada So maybe we will maybe we'll try it together. I got some dried soft and juicy mango. I love dried mango And then I stepped out of my comfort zone because I'm very selective with spice I'm just I'm not really a spicy gal. I can't do much of it But I did see these chili spiced mango pieces And we're gonna try it we're gonna try it. It doesn't really smell like I'm gonna like them. Oh God, look what I did. I'm gonna have to put these in a little Ziploc bag or something after, but Andrew will probably not touch these. So I'm just gonna bite it and put it back in the bag, but. too spicy for me. Eh, eh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like these. These are a zero on 10 for me. No. No. It's just, it's too overpowering when it comes to the flavor of the chili, which makes sense because it is literally covered in that but not for me. I'm gonna stick with my just regular mango. I got two bags of pre-shredded cheese and I got some mozzarella cheese for the pizza that I'm gonna be making this week. And then I also got a four cheese blend just to keep in the fridge for other other things that I might need a little sprinkle sprinkle of cheese on. My friend also recommended these burgers, which are just like mini cheeseburgers, which I think would be great again when I'm having like a little girls night to take some of these out. This is what they look like. So I'm just gonna throw them in the freezer. I've never had anything frozen like this in my entire life, but I'm looking forward to trying it. I got the hold the cone ice cream cones in the coffee bean flavor. I love coffee, so I just, I couldn't not get these. I love mussels, so I picked up a tin of the lightly smoked mussels. I showed you the green goddess seasoning that I got, and then I also got this pizza seasoning. I wanna try it on popcorn or on the pizza that I'm making this week, just to see if I like it or if it adds anything. I feel like it's gonna be mainly like a paprika flavor, but fun anyway. I got two different types of almonds. I love a good nut. These nuts? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> got <he. laughs> And I got cinnamon sugar almonds and then my friend Melissa recommended the coconut flavored almonds. I'm gonna try one of each. Why not? We're already, we're already doing a nice taste test. Why not try more things? I really love coconut so I feel like these are gonna be a hit. Mm. That is the perfect combination of sweet and salty. I really love it, but you have to like coconut if you're gonna have those. I think that those are gonna be a new, a new one in my roster. Let's try a cinnamon sugar one now. I really like these too. 
I would give the coconut ones a 9 out of 10 and the cinnamon sugar. I think the same thing, a 9 out of 10. Really, really tasty stuff. Oh my god, we are at the end of my Santa bag. On Instagram, somebody recommended that I pick up the crunchy chili onion hummus. Got it. Excited to try it. I love keeping pasta sauces in my pantry, just as like little emergency sauces or dinners that take two seconds to throw together. And I picked up this creamy tomato and basil pasta sauce, which looks so good. Then I also picked up this rice cracker medley. I love rice crackers. It's just, they're so tasty and satisfying to eat. These have a whole mixture of crackers. It says spicy, salty, vinegary, soy saucy. Doesn't say exactly that, but you know what I'm saying. But it is quite a nice blend, also recommended through Instagram. Two more bags and we're done. And we're done, we're done. This has a lot of frozen stuff in it as well. This is the second pizza that I mentioned, and this one is a burrata, prosciutto, and arugula pizza. Um, sign me up. I have some paneer tikka masala with spinach and basmati rice. So I got two of these so Andrew and I can have them like on the same night, you know, or whenever we want, I guess. I loved the fried rice the last time I went and I only got one bag. So this time I picked up one bag of the chicken fried rice, which is what I got last time. And then I picked up two bags of the vegetable fried rice because I just think that it makes a delicious dinner. You can add something to it. You can have it on the side. So good. But one of those vegetable fried rices, rices, rices. One of the vegetable fried rice is going to be when we make this orange chicken, which was recommended by my friend Jessica. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm not usually the biggest orange citrus chicken kind of fan, but so many people like this that I feel like I will too. Andrew loves mozzarella sticks. So I picked up a bag of theirs because these look like so insanely good, delicious. I love cabbage. And so I picked up their stir fried garlicky cabbage. I think that this again will be great as a side. Their beef and broccoli is so good. I loved it the last time that I got it. So I picked up another bag. I think I only got one, I'm pretty sure. Apparently I'm on a rice kick for whatever reason, but I also picked up this Spanish style rice. Never tried it, never heard anybody talk about it, but excited to try it myself. Some garlic naan to go with some of the Indian dishes that I bought. Does this not look good? It is a chicken shawarma bowl and it has rice, chicken, bell peppers, spinach, pickled red onion, and it has a creamy garlic sauce. Can y'all believe that we made it to the last bag? Let's see what I got. It's like a little surprise for me too because I got so many things. It's like I wasn't even seeing what I was buying, which is not the greatest, but either way. I got some bagels. There's a big difference between a Montreal bagel and a bagel like this. Montreal bagels are so much better. I love them, but I want to try what Trader Joe's has to offer. And like, these are so good, but like, it's not the doughy kind of chewy bagels that we have here, which are so good. But got some of these just in the plain sesame flavor. I did get some acai packets, and I think that these are gonna be great to add to my smoothies in the morning. I did get some of these garlic shiitake green beans. I love a good green bean. I also picked up some of these seasoned Brussels sprouts and these have Parmesan cheese on them as well. I really wanted to try their Power of Red juice, but they did not have it. But I did get the Power of Purple, which is a blend of pomegranate, cherry, mulberry, grape, carrots, cranberry, and blueberry juices. I think adding this to a little bit of lemonade or even like diluting it a little bit with like some sparkling water or something like that would be really, really tasty. Some honey walnut shrimp, which I think will be great with that rice that I got. And then maybe some broccoli or something like that. Trader Joe's was advertising this as like a better grilled cheese, but it is a corn and cheese arepa. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it is two corn griddle cakes with a layer of mozzarella cheese in the middle. This was some of the soup. Amazing. I did pick up two more of these frozen dinners and this is a chana masala chickpea dish. There's that other box of mac and cheese bites that I was talking about. Some vegetable quesadillas. And are you surprised that the last three things in these bags are corn? Because I'm not surprised. For me, I really like corn. But these corn ribs, it is literally just corn that is like cut into quarters. I love this. I could have eaten the whole package myself the last time. So I picked up two. And then I also just picked up some roasted corn to have on hand as well. But that is everything that I got at Trader Joe's. I hope that you liked this little taste test, the haul, seeing some of the things that I got. But let me know what your favorite items from Trader Joe's are below or what you would try if you had a Trader Joe's near you. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye friends.